Hello everybody. Welcome to my latest video. Today we're going to be looking at bringing an OVA or OVF file into Proxmox and getting the VM booted. This is generally going to be a time saver and the process has changed a little bit since I made a previous video on this subject. Let's get into it. So step one, of course, is going to be downloading the OVA file. We're here on turnkeylinux.org. We're going to search for core because that's going to be a small VM image to download. We'll go ahead and click on that. And instead of downloading the ISO image, we're actually going to go with the older version and we're going to download the OVA file. Now, of course, we're going to blow this away after it's done because there's a new version. They just don't have the pre-built VM available for it at this point in time. Go ahead and download, save it to downloads. And that is going to finish here momentarily. Okay. Step two is copying that file to the Proxmox machine. And for this, we're going to use SCP, secure copy. First, we need to find our OVA image and we can see the turnkey core there. And we're going to say SCP, secure copy. We're going to give the name of the file, turnkey, and tab completion will finish the typing for you. And where do we want to copy it to? We're going to copy it to root at, and then the IP address of the Proxmox server, colon, slash, TMP slash. It's going to copy it over the network to the temp directory on the Proxmox machine. Um, oops. Help if I typed in the right IP address. <laughs> and that's going to copy. And it's done. Step three. Connect to the Proxmox machine via SSH. And we're going to move to the temp folder. And if we list the files, we're going to see that we do in fact have turnkey core listed there. Now, an OVA file is a zipped file that has other components of the virtual machine contained within that zip file. So we're going to use the command tar xvf turnkey and it's going to extract that file. And as you can see, we've got three files listed. We can actually look at the contents of the OVF file. And it's just an XML file that lists out all of the options. Step four, importing the OVF into Proxmox in a fashion that it can be used. And so we're gonna say QM import OVF. We're going to give it an unused VM number, ID number, 15020. Okay, then we need to specify the OVF file. Turnkey core 16.1 Buster AMD64 OVF. The next parameter, we need to specify the storage, PVE01 store which is what I named the storage on this Proxmox node. And then I'm not sure if this part is going to work, so, but we'll try it. Double dash format Q cow two. And so that should import the VM into Proxmox and convert the VMDK file into a Q cow two format. 
and it appears that it has successfully completed. Let's move on to step five and finish prepping in the graphical interface. Okay, so here we are in the graphical interface of Proxmox. It did in fact bring the VM in as turnkey core. We are gonna go into options and the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna rename that so it's not all uppercase. Turnkey core 16.1 and it doesn't like the spaces, so we'll just take the spaces out. And the next thing we need to do is check out hardware. And if you've got an eagle eye, you can see something that's missing here. The one issue that I've seen in doing this a few times now is that it is not bringing in by default a network device. So we need to add the VM bridge. Add that. And finally, I just want to take a look at options and boot order and verify that it is in fact set to boot from the SCSI zero disk first. And we can also see here that it did in fact convert that to a QCOW2 disk format. We can go ahead and close that. And here we go, step six, the acid test. Let's see if we can boot it. And it booted to the first boot configuration sequence. So we are in luck and this is ready to go through the rest of the configuration which you've seen in other videos and it can be used now the great thing is that from this point you can bring in other vms and make those usable in proxmox as well so i will put some information in the description on the command format and I will also link to an article that has a, has a little bit more of a write-up that you may find useful. And that, my friends, will bring us to the end of another video. I hope you found this useful. If you did, please take a moment, like, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Have a great day.